Alright, <clears throat> Migo London, everyone. Welcome back to a another um, house showcase video. Uh, this place is called uh, Muriel Bismuth, and originally, or this is actually um, a redone. I think it's called Muriel Bismuth, uh, redone or reworked or something. Originally, it was put out by Soft Rod. But uh, I guess he got permission, or this person got permission. I don't know if it's uh, male or female who who did this, but uh, his name is Marsh Marshmallow, M A L O Marshmallow, and here it is. Look at that. Now I remember when I did a tour of this place before, like maybe a year or so ago, maybe even a couple years ago. Uh, there were some glitches in there, but now hopefully it's going to be fixed. I, I don't want these people to interfere my skeletons, so I'm going to yeah, have them wait. Read on. I'll keep watch from here. And my horse, I think, will stay there. And of course, it's going to be raining, and that's okay. And forgive me. I hope I do not get attacked, but at the moment, I forgot how to make it so I can't be detected by enemies. I forgot how to do that. I forgot what the council command was for that. By the way, it is June 24th, 2023. After this, I'm going to sleep. But look at that. There was something inside of me that just wanted to do this. You know, I was thinking about it when I, when I saw it, and I just got excited. OK, look at that. So a place to put your horse. I love this. I think this actually looks better. Oh man, I I have to delve into this. Oh no, I hope. Maria, what? Oh, oh no, I have to purchase it. Oh, God, do I have enough? Hey, I do. For sale, Muriel Bismuth recently foreclosed. 8K septums or best offer. Cozy tower home full of amenities for any inclined to the arcane arts. Oh, very nice. All right, let's... Go through the front. This is oh. Lighting, everything about this is, is so much better. So credit again goes to the original author, which is Soft Rod, and the one who uh, reworked this place to update it, and I think even changed it a little bit. Marshmallow. So uh, thank you guys for creating this place. Again, it is called. Um, a real bismuth. Sorting box. Oh look, is this like a oven and a stove or is it just... Okay, that's, okay, maybe there's no stove here, but look. Butter churn. Okay, I love that. Okay. So that will reset over time. Oh, no, 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 right, right. I have to have uh, milk in my inventory and then it's gonna turn it into butter. It does not look like there's an oven here, but hold, hold on, maybe, oh no, there is. Okay, if we're baking, okay, very, very lovely. Look at that. So we have baking and we have cooking, a regular cooking station and a baking station. That's really, really nice to see. We have 
the butter churn. We have here an um, enchanting station with all the books and everything. Look at that. I really feel like I want to delve back into this, but I'm this character here, my, uh, how do I go into, here we are, um, Alea, my necromancer, she's like still in the middle of uh, the Thelmer embassy quest and I still have to get out of there. Oh my god, I really made her like a babe, look at that. Oh my god, yeah, I'm really sorry about that she was. I know she's a cartoon, but you know, I, I, it doesn't bother me. Okay. Alchemy Lab. Okay, this is our little greenhouse area. Yeah, this is pretty different from what I remember. Okay, it looks like we have a couple of um, planting beds. You could plant maybe a few things in there each. So that's very, very nice. Lighting in here is fantastic. I like that. Some more reagents. A study. Can I actually read this note? No. Oh, look at this. A relaxing uh, lounge area. Oh, Marshmallow, you did an exemplary job with this. Look at that shrine tomorrow. Oh, this is, um, yeah, I, I knew I recognized this music. This is Morrowind music. I was about to say Oblivion, but no. It is Morrowind music. A little bit of flickering, but, you know, such a minor thing. And I'm not going to cast any kind of artificial light. I like, you know, viewing these places in the natural lighting. library area. Yeah, this, I think that was a problem with the original one. It looked like there were more uh, floors to the place that you can go up more because it is a tower, but um, I believe you could not. You can only go down. Okay, another odd flickering over here, but again, that is okay, and it could also be attributed to my uh, LFX, right? What, what did it say? Oh, okay, that's college boots. Okay. Okay, this will lead outside. We'll go outside, like, we will go outside uh, later. Scrolls on top of that barrel. Really nice touch. Ah, oh. bound a dagger. This is something that was only available in something like Morrowind and Oblivion, I believe. I could be wrong, though, but... I love it. Okay. 
Okay, um, each, okay, the bedroom is upstairs. Okay, let us look at that. Very nice bedroom, and I'm sure this will lead to the balcony outside. Yeah, which we will take a look at all that later. Oh, the bath. Uh, the water is a little static, but it's okay. Hmm. I wonder if, because uh, when I installed this, there were things that were uh, conflicting, and I could overwrite certain things. So I wonder if I have to tinker with that. It's okay. Wow. Amazing. I almost would rather this be empty. You know, if the water is going to look like this. Otherwise, I'm not. I'm not sure what the water looked like. In I think in other tubs, they were like much bigger, so they were able to just use a normal water in there. Like the water just looked like the water that that you know you would see out in the lake. Oh, what? Oh, it's just like an oh box of sorting. So that means I can put like food, potions, scrolls in there, and it's gonna just disperse them in their appropriate container, right? Oh, I love the lighting over here. Oh, is this a yeah staff enchanter or something? I think that's what this is. Staff Enchanter. Let's go up over here. Now this is the kind of home that I could make my mage, uh, Felagar, uh, live in. Is this a bed for like adopted children, maybe? It's really nice. Yeah, it's owned, so I'm, I think it's for your children. Yeah, I like this up here. This little uh, children's loft area. Dragon bone. Shrine. The Kinnereth. Dragon scales. Okay, let's make our way... What a parlor. Oh, yeah, right, right. It's down. Okay, why don't we go ahead and check out the balcony area. So, I wonder if he made it so that the boat, uh oh, what happened? Okay. The boat down over there can actually be used, maybe, to, oh, it's a lake, so really. But you know what would be nice is if that boat could, you know, it's a lake, so it can't take me to anything, any place like Solstheim or some place like that, but what would be cool is if it could take us to you know, like out over there some, like around the, the coast, around this lake, right? And the boat will stay there so you can take it again back here or some other place. But, you know, we're, we're going to find out about that. I love this. I'm developing a little headache too, so I, I better kind of move this along. Did I look in here? Oh, I think I did. Okay, let's see what's on this side. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Really nice. Really nice. Now this is a real tower. The smelter. Workbench. This right now I can tell you is up there is one of my favorite house mods. I can tell you that already, right? Tanning rack. Trine stone. Yeah. I love that cuckoo sound or whatever that is. Yeah, that thing. Okay, let's let's head back inside. This is the, yeah, let's take a closer look in the kitchen, though, at the food. Is that a uh, motor and this? Oh, that's like a grinder thing. Yeah, I didn't really have a chance to kind of look at everything here in the kitchen it's really nice and this is the yeah the backyard okay so here's the fish hatchery very very great ah no so it's just here for decoration ah uh, that's Perfectly fine. Ah, a forge. Yeah, see, the water in here is like it's very static. Like it's jello. Okay. So did I also see a way down? I thought I saw there was a way down to like a, a basement here. Oh, here, here. I like this. I love this, actually. More than just like. Oh, wall of flames. Oh, what did it say? Uh, arcane vault no, I'll go back later <clears throat> maybe I'll get back to this game you know, this will also help me oh this is beautiful down here but this can also uh, hold me over until Starfield arrives. You know, I mean, I've been, I just haven't had the desire to play too much of uh, Diablo 4 anymore. It's not a bad game, but as I said, it's in a different video. I just feel like it's, it's too static, you know, and too similar in gameplay where it's it's just a lot of grinding and nothing much in the way of uh, end game content I mean they have that but it just it, it doesn't I guess the thing is it doesn't really feel so immersive as I would like it to be now this this is absolutely immersive 
but I, I don't want to, you know, waste time, uh, you know, kind of ranting, I guess, about Diablo 4. I still like it, but um, for now, I guess I sort of lost interest in that. Okay, it has some flickering in here. Okay, places to put, you know, yeah, the, the masks, like Morikai and all of that. Very, very nice. And the claws, okay. Wardrobe. Oh. Oh, this. I like the mask. I can't do anything there. Yeah, I can't open that. Oh, look at that. You can go up here. Oh, I, I love it. I love this. Again, um, Morel, Morel, uh, Bismuth, uh, reworked, redone or reworked, something like that, by um, Marshmallow. Uh, and the original version was created by uh, Soft Rod Telekinesis. Oh, this is transparent, well, you know glass um, glass cabinets you can see inside that I love it okay this is about coming to a close oh look at this I love the lighting here the blue a teleporter okay I better not click on that yet until I'm absolutely done just in case, you know. The map, can I go in here? Okay, here. You know, just in case uh, it just randomly teleports me someplace. It doesn't give me a, a, a prompt where, where I would like to teleport or if I can decline. So a little garden over here. And of course, you know, a spriggan in the shape of a spriggan that uh, statue. Is this the way back up? Yep. Okay, I, I love it. And of course, you know, we have an alchemy station over here. And what is this? There's just so many uh, things to click on, you know this entire uh, place and I love all the static things as well so you can't accidentally knock things over is this thing static yeah like that it's great okay I really love this study area look at that and another glass uh, you know cabinet okay, let's see oh look at that see so I can teleport to Whiterun, Valkyrie, Solitude, Markarth, Marthal, Winterhold, Dawnstar, Windhelm, Riften. So just all the major cities. The pages beckon for you to reach out, transporting you to what pages? Unless they're referring to this book. Yeah, I like the stairs. I'd go up there to that kind of like a, a little second level all right and have I been in here can easily miss things look at that okay let me just make sure what, what this was called or arcane vault right my real Bismuth, or my real tower, yeah. Okay, I'm heading back out. I highly
highly recommend this uh, house mod. It has a little bit of slowdown, of course, when you're walking, and it lasts like for maybe a, a second or two, and it's not really a big deal because I guess when you put something new in a cell that wasn't originally there, it's gonna uh, have a little bit of lag, but it's it's so minor. Okay, again, my friends, this is uh, a real bismuth originally created by soft rod but reworked by marshmallow i'm going to leave the link uh, to this mod it's on uh, nexus mods um, down below in the description box please endorse this mod um, and if you'd like to go back to the original one and endorse that too but this is the one to get for sure it is uh, greatly improved over the original one and it really feels like a tower. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate that. I would greatly appreciate that. And see you.